Why can these rich human traffickers and rapists get away with it? 99% of the time seemingly. Imagine you're a lawyer tasked with making sure someone insanely rich goes to jail. One day someone promises you a lot of money if you do a poor job instead. You say no. You keep on working the case but suddenly new problems start popping up all around you. People lose key evidence. Witnesses retract their statements. Important paperwork takes ages to process. It starts feeling like the whole justice system is working against you. But you keep pushing on regardless. Then the threading phone calls start. There are cars following your wife as she drives to work. Someone breaks into your house but steals nothing. You report it to the police but they seem to just be twiddling their thumbs. One day. Someone you don't know sends you a picture of your kids in front of their school. How far do you go before deciding it's just not worth it? Because many humans value the material over morality and people like those surround themselves with. People like that. You would be surprised how often good people are silenced by POS and their POS henchmen. Money is power. At least to the superficial and the world is run like that. What do you propose? Our society is simply ill-equipped to apply criminal justice to the insanely rich. Like if Elon Musk molested someone today. Can we put him in jail? Very unlikely. Too much money. Powerful lawyers. Being on the other side of the table. It's very 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 hard to seek justice against this type of thing. Even when someone reports it. I wish it wasn't this way but basically it's court saying, your word isn't good enough. You can't just say that happened to you. You have to prove it. Then takes a decade to get your chance to prove it because the trial system. Takes so long. A lot of victims are intimidated. Fatigued. Etc. And drop out of even trying to report. When you have rich lawyers coming after you. It's even a million times harder. There's just not enough support or care for victims at all. Thus. These people get away with crimes over and over. Not to mention even if they got in trouble for the most horrendous acts. They're out of jail in no time. Because anyone who could afford to hire a hitman to get rid of these filth are probably filth. Themselves. Because they hold the power. The system is set up to enable them in every way. Keyword. Rich. Money. If you have enough money you can pay cops. Lawyers. Judged. Politicians. Etc. To look the other way and or basically just do whatever you want them to. You can't come up in any government without getting mud on you. If you take down the muddiest of the bunch what is going to stop them from pointing out your mud? And a lot of times it's the same mud so it is best in their minds to ignore the mud and pretend. Everyone is wearing their Sunday best looking tip top to keep the gravy train rolling otherwise. They all go down like the pigs they are. The world is cruel and the law does not apply to the super rich I guess. Who's gonna do something about it that won't be subject to being paid off or mutually benefited by those they'd be doing something about? That's how the rich and powerful remain rich and powerful. Money makes everything go away. Especially since this Epstein thing came out. Epstein, notably, didn't get away with it. For example, how can Prince Andrew and others freely do whatever he wants? and nobody cares? He was investigated by the police who apparently found that there was little evidence to prove he did anything wrong. Just because conspiracy theorists have been committed to this idea of elite pedophile rings since at least 2016 when Pizzagate started doesn't mean we can go around arresting people nobody has ever accused of committing a crime. The answer is in the question itself. Rich you answered your own question there. 
Welcome to the Roaring Twenties. Interest doesn't matter. Money matters. If you don't want bad people to be able to get away with whatever they want, you need to be against wealth inequality and everything that increases it. Full stop. We only hear about the most famous and richer ones that represent only a small fraction of all. Traffickers and rapists. Most media won't report if some more normal people are caught. Theories and accusations don't hold up in court. While the answers around how powerful people avoid prosecution are largely good ones you also need to stack in there that the media will ruin a normal person's life without a second thought with sensationalist headlines if it makes a dollar. Doing the same to a person of any sort of profile is a notch in the belt for media and will generate even more money for them so what we perceive to be open and shut cases based on media narrative may also not be so simple to a hopefully impartial judiciary system the power media wield in this day and age the ease of access to become media and the irresponsibility with which it is wielded is quite a concern is there evidence that proves beyond a reasonable doubt that Prince Andrew committed a crime? And thus you can get a conviction in a court of law if it goes to a jury trial? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.